If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. What? Oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Oh. Oh. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. Kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? North Pole? That old fairy tale? Yeah. Like this war. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. You think people actually live like this? What's... <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. About time. What took you? Hey, look at this. What happened to these poor bastards?
can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these bugs. Over here! Oh, this is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. What the hell's that? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. Deadwood ain't all gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. Nope. Maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Listen, for what it's worth, 
You were a good friend. You were a good friend. Hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Uh, can't hold this forever, Bo! Are you? Questions later. We gotta get moving. On three. Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. <sighs> Root or thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait! <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit! <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. All right, let's do this.
here. The dead would know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight. Bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. Ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. <sighs> Yes. Ooh, that looks like root rot. But I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to root. And quick. Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Briggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. 
I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... You know, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Something on your mind, Traveler? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a Deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He... he gave us a heads up someone was coming, then Clementine was the one that found you. They... they got a kind of, uh, a root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> And there you were. Wally, I, I mean, uh, Wallace, he, he has a way of seeing things. Always has. Wally's been with the ward since he was just a kid, and his seeing has saved a lot of lives. He's, uh, he's a good kid. Oh, the kind I'm damn grateful I don't, to be honest. He sees like the root sees what they see sometimes. The... the past, the future... Whew. All that knowing. Huh. It's a lot for someone to carry. You should ask him if you want to know more. <laughs> I guess... I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but... Before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda... put me in charge. Yeah, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but... The Ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. Oh, uh... <laughs> thanks? I don't know, I guess I'd just take care of myself? Uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that? Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. <laughs> He's been around for ages. Though, he ain't much for leading himself. Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, the Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but... Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. Uh, I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Uh, you'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but he ain't like the rest of us. He's. He's seen a lot. <laughs> I usually leave storytelling to Reggie. O or if you want some really wild tales, try Mudtooth. <laughs> now there's an old-timer who can twist a yarn. <sighs> Incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it, not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric, like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler, <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. Between me and... oh, I, I, I don't, um... <laughs> uh... What? No, no, it's not, I don't, I mean, I, I do, but it's, it's not like that, I... <sighs> Have, uh, have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know? But the way she fights for folks, no matter what it takes out of her, it... It makes me want to do better. I... I kind of want to make her proud, you know? I... I guess you could say she's my... 
My inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't... Don't tell her I said that, though. Lots of nice folks here. Talk to them, you'll see. If you need anything, you know where to find me. <clears throat> uh, you wanna take a walk down on the shore sometime? <sighs> the ocean's so beautiful. So peaceful. I love it. So, you wanna go? Brad and I used to walk there. No. I don't think I could do it again. If you're looking for Founder Ford, I usually see him over at the warehouse. I heard Ford was looking for you. He's up top, over in the warehouse. You ever wonder if all this is... like... a dream or something? What do you mean? Hey! You're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know, you're lucky they found you when they did. Your friend was pretty bad. I got her just in time. She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. Not yet. She's asleep, and I'd like her to stay that way a spell. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. What's on your mind, Sunshine? What are you trying to say, Sunshine? <laughs> well, no need for that. You know how a doctor gets good at her craft? That's it. Same way you get good at anything. You learn a thing by doing it over and over again. For me, that means people who need my help. The more people there are suffering, the better I get at healing them. And Sunshine? I'm the best damn doctor for miles. My grandfather. He'd been treating folk his whole life, nearly as long as the Root's been around. I started assisting Gramper when I was five. Dressing wounds, making meds, cutting at the table, you name it. He was. He helped more people in his long life than you and I have ever even met. But how I helped him most? was digging through the old hospitals. Even after a century, there's a hell of a lot to find. All of it useful to someone as clever as Gramper. Huh. <laughs> Tons. The old humans knew a lot about the human body, it turns out. Stuff even Gramper didn't know. Did you know they used to be able to replace a man's lungs with someone else's? Or put a dead man's liver in someone whose liver didn't work anymore? <laughs> To think of all the folks Grandpa and I could have saved if we had that kind of know-how. There's plenty if you know what to look for. Most of the basic meds are long gone, but there's still plenty of specialized tools and ingredients there. Stuff no one knows what to do with but me and my grandfather. What they don't got, what I never found once, is a cure for root rot. That's why so many folks died when the root first showed up. Grandpa had to invent a treatment on his own. A treatment, not a cure. He probably wasn't the only one. I'm sure others came to the same solutions independently. But after Gramper figured it out, he traveled as far as he could and taught it to everyone he met. I don't know where he started, but I reckon every treatment within a hundred miles of here is derived directly from his work. You can thank him that your friend is still alive. Came here maybe ten years back? My ma had died and Gramper didn't feel safe carting me around the countryside by himself. It turned out good. The city's full of scrounge, and Gramper made a living selling bandages and meds while treating folks for free. I do the same. He even attended the old commander when she passed. Couldn't do much for her except ease her going. The folks around here thanked him for it. Made us part of the ward and all. All right then, what else can I do for you? Of course.
Take care, sunshine.
looking for Ford? He's over in the warehouse. I'm sure he's got something going on. Always does. Looking for Ford? He's up top in that warehouse over there. So many new faces these days. Things must be getting a mite easier out there. Welcome, traveler. I'm Reginald Malone. But my friends call me Reggie. You can too. Saw you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Or oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. <laughs> I have been known to tell a story or two. The old mud tooth does give me a run for my money. Or did you mean that I collect the stories? Cause I do that too. And I'd love to hear your tale, Traveler. Oh, now that sounds like the start of a damn good story. What brought you out here? It's a common enough tale, but I hope you know I'm genuinely sorry for your loss. Everyone here can identify, but I know that don't necessarily make it easier. All we can do is shelter the joy wherever we find it, every day. How about your friend? How'd you meet her? Hell, ain't that the human story in a paint can, friend? You try hard enough, you'll find everyone's got basically the same goals. If we could see that, we'd all live a lot longer and happier. <laughs> ah, listen to me, rambling off on something you never said. You'd think I was an old man or something. Now, speaking of your friend, I heard you came in with a nasty case of root rot. What happened to you two out there? Yeah, I can understand that. Ain't easy talking about hard times. Yeah, don't push if she ain't ready, yeah? But, uh, don't forget about it either. Could be that telling you what happened is the only thing that can set her free. Well, don't you worry. We've dealt with nastier things here, believe me. I reckon she'll come through just fine. What about you? What do you hope to find out here? You're a good friend, Traveler. I hope you stick around. This town could use folks like you. So, now I've got a measure of you. Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Well, hey, get away from my stew! Oh, it's you. What? No, of course not. Never seen you before in my life. I just figure you're you. You know? And I'm me, and that's... That's where we are. So, what can old Mudtooth do for you, huh? Lucky for you, I've got answers. Good ones, too. 
Quite a bit, stranger. The name's Mudtooth. And ain't nobody been around longer or seen more than I have. Except maybe old Ford, of course. But that old mudder cheats. Anyway, he hardly tells any of his stories. Only three reasons why folks come to see me. And that's my stories or my stew. Yeah. So, youngin', what'll it be? Town, you call it. Back in my day, a place like this wouldn't be considered much more than a camp or a, 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 a bivouac. You might call it, nah, this ain't no town. Not yet. But it is a fine place to set up Kip. <laughs> I lived by myself for years, see? Had myself a, uh, what you calls it, uh, a hockapotopter. That thing could fly to the moon and back. <laughs> it could. <laughs> Anywho, I was living by myself when my boy Brabus showed up saying we should move on. Told me it wasn't safe for me to be living like I've been living no more. He told me about this place. Got some nice people here. Took some getting used to being around folks again. Well, Brabus. He's my son. For his idea to come join this little shanty town. Not a bad idea it was, neither. He's over yonder, at the shooting range, if you're looking to find him. Not much of a talker, though, that one. <laughs> Guess he didn't get his old man's gift for gab, eh? <laughs> that so? Huh. Did I tell you about the stories yet? That one too, eh? <laughs> well, that's it, ain't it? My stories and my stew. Listen, you sure I said there were three reasons? Cause there's only two, and that's certain. Huh. Only two reasons folks come to see old Mudtooth, and you know both of them. I'm pretty sure your memory's slipping. You bet your apple I can, but these ain't just stories, stranger. They're objective retellings of legitimate occurrences, what you wouldn't believe. Now, where to start? Back when the Earth fell, a dragon, a real root dragon, took up residence over there, just like in old fairy tales. It started in them wards, see? Your eyes only hush-hush military conspiracizing farms and whatnot. That's where they made all their weapons and did them experiments. And just like those tales, it took a... took a what now? It took a knight to slay this dragon. Oh, ho, ho, but the dragon was crafty, all right. He knew the knight needed help, so the dragon gave it to him. Yep, 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 the dragon took the form of a talking tree and told the knight. If they wanted to slay that dragon, they'd have to slay all these other beasts first. A cyclops, a living statue, uh, what do you call him? Uh, golem. Well, the knight slayed them all. But the thing was, these beasts weren't protecting the dragon. They were holding him back. So when the dragon finally did reveal itself, it was too strong for the knight. And it took him body and mind, and made their strength its own. Ah, here's a good one. I ever tell you the secret behind my stew? Well, I ain't gonna. <laughs> but I will tell you how it came to be, yeah? The original recipe comes from my ma, of course. But that ain't the end of the story. My ma made a fine stew. But it weren't nothing to tell tales about. Not until the day me and the crazy age got ourselves trapped in one of them old, uh, medieval, uh, meditating, uh... We was trapped in one of them medicinal compounds full of pharmaceuticals and whatever you call them. And I had nothing but a dead coney and an onion on my belt, which weren't good for much, but were the style at the time. So, we scrounged for ingredients. Well, them hospitalities ain't no good for food, 
But they do have some pretty mean spices lying around if you know what you're doing. Which I do! That night was the best stew any of us ever had in our lives! Kept us going for days! Until finally, the dead wood outside got bored and took off. And that, friend, is the same stew I make today. I even use the same ingredients as them back in the day medicinals. <laughs> Better even! Be sure to let me know if you do. Why, sure, but uh, it ain't ready just yet. The lunch rush today was something fierce, I tell you. But I'll have some for you quicker than you can say crazy eight. Well, maybe not that quick. I done already said it, didn't I? Just come back in a while. I'll be sure to save you a bowl. I'll be seeing you then. How can old Reggie help you today? Only the best for my friends. Traveler. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have authority over me. On this, I do. This town needs you. You can't go wandering off after something that... that might not even exist. Oh, that's rich. What have you been doing the last hundred years then, huh? What the hell are you doing right now? Well, that's different. I'm trying to fix things. Things that... You broke when you tried to play God. That was Har's guard. I was just following orders. I didn't... Oh, and that makes it okay? You know how many people died because you just followed orders? Of course I know. You think I don't remember that every goddamn day? I'm trying to make things right here. So am I. You're such a damned hypocrite, Ford. If I leave, it's my fault. But you... You didn't break the world. You didn't run after a pipe dream. You didn't abandon your family a dozen times over. <sighs> Look, I've made a lot of mistakes. I admit that. But it's because of those mistakes that I'm telling you not to do the same thing. <sighs> well, forgive me if I don't want to take advice from the men who fucked up the world in the first place. I'm not your dreamer anymore. Maybe I've got my own mission. These people need you, Clementine. You're too important to just- Every person out there is capable of taking care of themselves. This isn't about them. It's about you. You've always run away from your problems, but you won't let me run toward something. What are you so goddamn afraid of? Of losing you, losing them, losing everything. I've already lost. Everything! You took it from me. You, Neville, Harsgard. The whole goddamned project. I don't belong here. I never did. I'm tired of. Pretending I do. Look, uh, you put yourself through a lot today. You're tired. Get some rest. Huh? Things will feel better tomorrow. <laughs> you know how I. You know I used to look up to you. The way you seem strong enough to save the world. Except I've already saved it. Haven't I? And what have you done? I... Uh... 
I can't let you go near that place, Clementine. That's an orb. <laughs> you haven't learned a damned thing, Ford. Out of my way. Here. Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, Traveler. Uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Not quite. Clementine... Spent a long time away, keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. Compared to who? <laughs> Vo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does. And we're damn thankful. Want some intel, eh? All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. We can discuss this later. <laughs> I hope you're not making the Founder wait, Traveler. He's got a thing about time. 
Oh, Traveler. I heard you're helping out the Founder. <laughs> Kinda makes you a legend yourself. Yeah, the Commander thought so. I mean, eventually. The Founder can be... eccentric, but you can't argue with his results. Just gear up and be safe, okay? I'm, I'm saving you a spot on garden duty when you get back, huh? <laughs> Those carrots ain't gonna pull themselves. Stay safe, traveler. Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back onto you. Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. Take care, my friend. Anything you need? Be safe out there. <sighs> I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Bingo. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Capiche? <sighs> Look. It's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons. Okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Yeah. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha, <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you're his problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. They ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. I should know. Damn straight. A lot of folks only ever learn how to look out for themselves. They don't know any different. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a doggy -dog, dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now, but a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. Watch yourself, stranger. World ain't clean yet. Greetings. <laughs> Forgive me. I am not good with Paxel Tech faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel Tech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel Tech name is Dwell. I sell wares crafted using refined crystals from my world. They make Baxel take faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. <laughs> and the prices are quite fair. Of course, Baxel Tech. <laughs> yes, that is always the question. I am Pan, from the world of Yesha. Where the Eternal Empress reigns, the Doe and Ravager run free, and the balance breathes life to the jungle. 
Or so it used to be. Alas, it is not. Long and long have the immortals oppressed the common pan, wielding their power as if it were something they had earned or deserved. The pan have rebelled against this tyranny, and for a time it looks as if we could win. Then the pestilence came. Would Paxel take call their root? When I last saw her, Yesha languished under the pestilence. The Ravager prowls, and the Daw is lost. The rebellion continues, but my people ache for relief. Ah, the Paxel take Ford, the founder. On its last visit to Yesha, it said it was possible. I do not understand the complexities myself, but now I am here. Ah, Ford came to Yesha many times, aiding the rebels against the tyranny of immortals. His desire to protect was clear even then, as was his craft for violence, which he freely shared. Dwell did not learn Paxeltech Ford's violence, but shared in aiding the rebels with the same wares I offer here. Both aided rebellion, so both shared imprisonment. Oh, I languished for years, a cost I had never hoped to pay. But not Paxeltech name, perhaps. But it is my name whilst I live among Paxeltech tongues. Paxeltech, foreign to the pan, meaningless, perhaps on Paxeltech world, but it is at home on Dwell's tongue. They are crafted using a special crystal found only on Yesha. The Ahane, the priests of the pan, forbid the crystal's use among commoners. But the Gull are craftier than Ahane know. Long and long have the Gull used the crystals for weapons. Or even cruder things, like soups. But it takes an artisan like Dwell to bring out their full potential. They are crafted with refined crystals. And all crystals are special. A crystal is order. Perfection from husk to heart. Some crystals split light. Others, like stones used to bring me here, can bridge worlds. The crystals I use carry power within them. Some pan believe them to be divine, but this power is merely the interaction of the crystal's harmony with the chaos of the world. <laughs> As the Ahane have done for ages, I refine the crystal to magnify its harmony and focus its power. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. You must return soon.
see you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. I'll see you again, traveler. in practice. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants.
better be good. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? <laughs> well, that explains it. Everything that old coop touches becomes a whole thing. If Ford's involved, you're gonna need all the help you can get. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. to help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on we used to live in that building over there then a stranger came we called them the wanderer you might have noticed everyone gets a handle here anyway they show up and stop the route now, we live in these buildings, here. That cleared up for you? And me? I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. Move along, traveler. I'm a busy woman. Uh, what can I do for you? I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Yeah, that sounds like Bravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Strange how quiet it is here some days. Like nothing's going on. Yeah. Heard Ford is looking for you. Kind of boring if you ask He's me. He's down at the entrance to the old war. Like a little more past the gun range. Sometimes. Oh yeah. Well, we could sneak off and do some exploring in the old ward. Just you and me. If you want. Yeah. Or we could just hang out here.
stand ready. Should we head out? Or, uh, is there something you wanted to do first? Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. Like this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds, even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security, of pride. So yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to, in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here, so come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing, we call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. What? Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Ah, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what? Exactly.
Andrew Ford, who first touched this crystal. Did he ever come back? Go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. Huh. That bastard did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Carbondine! Don't let go! Stop slipping! Don't let take me! Clementine! <sighs> shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 don't do it! Don't you do it! Oh, this is so stupid! 